All right, on this segment, we have both parish presidents. We have Terrebonne Parish President Gordon Dove here in the studio. We have parish president from Lafouche Parish, Mr. Archie Chesson, uh, via Skype and on his phone, because we have a little spotty phone service, but we've remedied that situation. So uh, to both parish presidents, welcome aboard, and uh, it's, it's good to hear from you guys, and I know that a lot of the emphasis has been on New Orleans, but I, I, I think maybe people around the country need to continue to learn that Terrebonne and Lafouche Parish are vital to our nation. So, uh, Mr. Shesson, we'll start with you. I've had lim uh, lengthy conversations with our parish president here. Can you give us an update, sir? Yeah, Martin, we did a, we did a press conference earlier this morning, uh, and I led that press conference off by saying that this is a not, not a New Orleans event. Uh, Lafouche, Terrebonne, St. Charles really took this thing on the chin, uh, but you know, me and Gordy took the took the brunt of it. Um, and as much media attention as being paid to them, uh, it's it's tough for us to sit back and watch that that nobody's nobody's kind of paying attention here. But you know, it's it's our butts who got kicked. But overall, we're doing really well. Um, four of our pod sites are up doing water MREs, tarps. We hope to have a fifth one open tomorrow in La Rose about noon. Uh, our debris contractors are on their on the ground doing. Uh, the, the initial pushing, uh, trying to get things out the way, uh, leaners and hangers, trees, stuff like that, uh, cut out the way so we could start big debris pickup. I'm hoping sometime Saturday or Sunday. Uh, we're going to try to get some initial garbage service out uh, on Saturday, try to start running some, some sort of seamlessly of some routes uh, in between the debris pickup, uh, especially in the parts that were less affected. Um, but we're working, to, uh, we're working to get that up and running. Let me ask you so this. we're taking baby steps. The momentum is... Go ahead. Yeah, let me ask you this because I'd ask uh, Mr. Dove the same question. Uh, have you been in contact? I'm sure you have with the governor and probably a, a mirror kind of a response. But uh, what about the federal government? Uh, have you heard that the president is coming down? Yeah, we're get, we're catching some wind of it. I haven't. I haven't. I'll be honest with you. I haven't been invited to anything. I don't know that I will be. Uh, <laughs> I would hope that if he touches down in Lafourche or Terrebonne that. That Gordon and I are there to at least greet him and, and, and talk about the devastation that we saw. Uh, I did hear on WWR radio that he was coming to Louisiana, um, and I hope he, you know, again, this is not a New Orleans event. I hope he gets beyond uh, the New Orleans airport and actually puts his boots on the ground uh, where the devastation truly happened. Yeah, let me ask you, because we're talking about the winds in this thing, and, and we were talking about, and it's, you know, it's just a hunch on my part after covering many of these, that at the end of the day, it's certainly going to be a five. I could tell by the devastation as we roll in in footage of Lafouche, and we have a lot of drone footage of Lafouche, that uh, if it's not a five, I don't ever want to see a five. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Mark. We had uh, here, in, here in Raceland, our Matthews, we, we clocked 130 mile an hour winds for sustained for 12 hours. Um, I, we got reports of uh, gusts from the, the guys who were on, on the uh, around Seaport and uh, Fouchon of gusts upwards of 190. Um, I can tell wow. you about the devastation from from really La Rose South that, that those winds were every bit of a 150, 160 mile an hour wind. So I would imagine that we're going to get to that Category 5 stage. Um, you know, I, I flew over it yesterday uh, for the first time and, you know, there were about 15 houses from the, the Golden Meadow floodgate uh, going toward Leeville. There's one house left standing. Um, all of those, I mean, it's nothing but water and pile and sticking up out the ground. So it was tough to fly over it and see the damage. Um, but I know how resilient we are. I know that we're going to put this stuff back together uh, and, and do it bigger and better than ever. What's, what's your biggest problem right now in Lafouche that you're working to get remedied? Is it electricity at this point? Do you have water everywhere? So, so, the, so the biggest issue is water. Uh, we still have uh, the, the water district was able to get to about La Rose, the the Rose, the Rose cutoff area uh, yesterday. We're trying to get everybody to Golden Meadow uh, up today. The, the biggest problem is, is that as we open valves and try to repressurize the system, uh, houses that are no longer there have been pushed off their block. Uh, all of their water is disconnected, so we're spewing water everywhere. A lot of the commercial businesses um, that have damage their sprinkler systems or other things are flowing water. So as we're finding those, all those leaks, we're shutting things off. Uh, but it's still it's still an issue for the for the water plant. We're we're putting in a request, or we have put in a request for additional power for the water plant uh, in Lockport, uh, so that we can figure out if if one of the other generators fail, we don't want to be back in a predicament where we don't have power. Uh, so we're getting them extra power sources just to be sure. 
the second problem is is energy. Uh, but they're look, they're doing all they can. Uh, you know, they're bringing in assets. I had 2,100 energy trucks show up yesterday in South Lafourche uh, that we were able to stage at the airport to get working. Um, the, the, we, we mentioned it a whole bunch during the press conference today. I really need people just to stay off the roads. We don't need sightseers. We, we, we know you want to get home. You want to check on your stuff. You want to check on your family. But the more you guys are out on the road trying to do stuff, the, the, the more you're tying up fuel trying to get there, the more you're try, tying up the pod sites, the, the, the commodities we're trying to get to the pod sites, and the more you're tying up energy. Uh, you know, we're working with uh, state police and uh, National Guard is bringing in a, an MP brigade. Uh, I think tomorrow when working with, with General Painter, um, so we're gonna we're gonna set those guys up doing traffic control. And if I have to start blocking highways for energy uh, and completely shutting things down, that, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we want to have power restoration happen as as fast as we it possibly can, so that we're ready when we can start to receive the transmissions of electricity again. Uh, and we're gonna do what we have to do to get that to happen. All right, let me do this. I'm gonna take the short mandatory break. I'm coming right back. I'm gonna let both parish presidents dispel any rumors uh, that are going around because. There have been a few doozies, and uh, just like every storm, I mean, this is nothing new. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll dispel a few rumors. Don't go away.